Hey, what's happening everybody, and especially Cardano fans this time around. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Yoroi wallet, or Yori wallet. I'm not really sure how you're supposed to enunciate that when I say Yori, it's probably wrong. We're going to be taking a look at how to find it, how to install it, what to do once you have it, and kind of a quick run through of it. So if you guys enjoy this video, please hit that thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button as well. And without further ado, we're just going to hop right into this and kick it off with Yori Wallet's website. So Yoroi or Yori, whatever, yori-wallet.com is the website. Now I'm going to have that link down in the description below. But if you're ever in doubt, you can look at multiple sources. So you can go to their Twitter here if you want to find Yori Wallet. They have about 66,000 followers right now. That's pretty safe to think that these this is a legit uh, project. We do have the blue check. We don't have the gold. Uh, but they have the same address here. You can also check cardano.org or some other sources. But please be very careful in what you do click when you're clicking on links that involve crypto and wallets. It's very easy to get hacked if you just start clicking accept to everything that you do. But... Once you're here at Euroi-Wallet.com, it's really quick, really easy. You just go over to the download button right here. You're going to click it. Now I'm running Brave, but Brave is a fork of Chrome. So I'm just going to click Chrome because there's no Brave option here. It's going to pop up a new window and it actually detects that it's Brave. So we're going to hit add to Brave, add extension, and then we're going to see a little download icon over here. And when that's done, we're going to pop open the Yori extension that we just installed. Now this wallet, in case you guys weren't really sure what a wallet is, it's going to let us self-custody the ADA or ADA projects that we have, maybe MinSwap tokens or, or ADA itself, stake ADA, things like that. That means if you don't want to keep it on Coinbase or Kraken or Binance or whatever you're using, you can bring it right over here into your own wallet and self-custody it yourself. So once it's installed, we'll go down to Yori here, open it up. And since I'm English speaking, I'm going to go with English, but there are a bunch of other languages here. If you speak a different language, hit continue. Uh, if you don't want to give analytics, just skip this. We're going to skip it for right now. Uh, if you want Cardano uh, payment URLs, you can do this. I'm going to skip it just to for ease of video, uh, but you can if you want. You just have to hit allow and then it's going to ask you a couple more things. Now, if you're importing a wallet, if you already had Yori, uh, or if you're maybe putting it on another computer or something like that, you can do restore existing wallet, but you're going to need your seed phrase. So make sure you have that ready. If you don't know what that is, don't worry. We're going to hop into it now. And that's basically what you get right here when you create a new wallet. So hit create new wallet. It's going to talk about recovery phrase, unique combination of words. It's the only way you can access your wallet. If you lose it, you probably aren't going to get your wallet back. So you want to write this down somewhere or print it or something, but you don't want to save it somewhere that people are going to have easy access to it because basically these are the keys to your wallet, the keys to your safe. So if somebody gets these, they have your wallet. They can do whatever they want with it just as easy as you can. So be careful not to share these or be careful with who you share these with. Um, let's see here. Yeah, it should. nothing should ever ask for this phase unless you're trying to restore your wallet, by the way. So don't get scammed. Don't give it out unless you are purposely restoring your wallet somewhere. Okay, so since we understand that, hit next. Um, we can hit continue here. Sure. Now here is our phrase. It is blurred out right now, and I will probably move it off screen so that you guys don't have to deal with me uh, typing all this in, and I don't want this wall going out there in case somebody tries to scam with it or something. But this is your seed phrase right here. It's gonna be one through whatever, uh, one through 15 in this case. It's a 15 word seed phrase. So you need to, on the next page, enter these words in exactly as they are right here in the same order. And they're gonna provide them down below, so you just have to kind of drag and drop them. But what you're going to do is show recovery phase. You'll click this and it will actually show you all these words and then you hit next. So I'm going to pause the video here for you guys, or at least uh, cut this part out and then we'll rejoin after I've entered them. All right. After you have entered all 15 of your words, go ahead and hit create and then hit continue or hit next and continue. Now you're going to name your wallet. We can name it uh, brave. Yori one or something like that. It, it could be whatever you want. It could be your name and that could be it. Now you're going to make up a password. Let's see here. This password is going to be unique to only this computer or this device that you're doing it on. So to access your wallet uh, on a daily basis, you're going to have to type in this password using this particular computer and actually using this particular browser that you've installed this extension on. So if you have it installed in another browser or something else, you can use the same password when you when you bring it in, but you are going to have to make that password for each actual use case, uh, each browser that you install this into or your mobile app or whatever it is. So just keep that in mind. Your keys are still the actual 
secret, the actual way into your wallet. This only accesses the wallet since it's already installed onto your computer. So hit create. So essentially you need to remember both those passwords. Create and we should be good here. So a little bit of update news. All right, right, okay. And I will actually take you guys to another wallet here in just a minute, but this is the setup of the wallet. All right, for this part of the video, I want to show you guys my old wallet here, my uh, basically my YouTube wallet that I typically use. Uh, I just didn't want to delete it and have to reinstall it to my browser. So um, this is it right here. You can see a bunch of old swaps that I've done throughout the uh, the history of using this wallet. Not a whole lot, to be honest. Some ADA, some MIN. I use MIN swap for most of the stuff uh, with this wallet. Uh, but what you can do in this wallet is is quite a bit actually. You can buy some ADA right here if you want. You can send and receive ADA. You can see all your transactions here and that's all under the wallet button here. You can actually stake your ADA if you guys are into yield and you're gonna be holding ADA long term. Maybe this is something you wanna do. If you wanna get into voting, you can do that as well. Uh, but you can jump into any of those pools here. You can see what assets you have. As you can see, I've got a bunch of MinSwap and ADA as mentioned. If you got NFTs, they'll show up here. Voting, you gotta have a good amount of ADA here. I believe it's, uh, is it 500? Yeah, you need 500 ADA to vote. Uh, you can do a little bit of uh, checking out which apps or dApps are connected to your wallet. Some more governance stuff here. And then settings where you can really change a bunch of stuff if you really want. Uh, kind of browsers, explorers, things like that. Uh, probably not something a lot of you guys will do, but it is something you can hop into. If you want to change the name or password, of course, you can come in here and do that as well. You can also export it to, say, your mobile device if you're doing that. And then you can remove this wallet as well. You could have multiple wallets within the actual extension here. I could have YouTube wallets, one, two, three, four, and 5, all with different ADA addresses, which is pretty cool. That is basically the gist of this wallet. It's very easy to use. Uh, you know, I didn't click on the send and receive. I will do that real quick. Um, you're just going to put in the address here, memo if you need one. And for receiving, you can use this QR code or you can actually get an address right here and copy it, which is pretty handy as well. So that's what you would do if you're trying to say, send it from Coinbase or something, you would use this address here. You'd go copy this, you'd paste it into your Coinbase, uh, your Binance, whatever. Or if it was on the mobile, you could just QR code the address in there. Same thing will come up. And then you can send it to this wallet right here that we're looking at. And now if you wanted to send it off from your wallet back to Coinbase, you would do that using this uh, feature right here, the send feature. And you would just grab your Coinbase wallet, which is inside your Coinbase app or your Coinbase website. And you'd paste that address right here. So that's about it. If you guys have any questions on this, let me know. Uh, I'll probably be updating some other wallet videos too. If you guys have any preferences on what you'd like to see, let me know. With that being said, again, hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, and thanks for stopping by.